So, I have a confession to make. I am the height of a baby giraffe and my husband is 5'8". So I got an email from someone saying, how do you do this? How do you, how are you okay being in a relationship with someone taller, shorter than you? And I've been there, okay? In high school, I was like, I have to get a guy six foot six and above. And that obviously is few and far between. That didn't really happen. And um, I was just dissing every other guy I met just because like, oh, they're short, they're short. And honestly, some of it was, sometimes it was funny and other times it was just like, man, Destiny, you're being really mean. I eventually lowered my standards to my height. And I thought, okay, I'll get somebody my height. And then I met my husband. And that totally turned my world upside down because my husband, like we met 12 years ago. We've been together five years. We met 12 years ago and we had one 30 minute conversation and like the conversation flowed. It was a great conversation. We had instant respect for one another and that was it. We uh, didn't talk for seven years after that. And that was a good thing because um, at the time he was 17 and I was almost 22 and so that would have been illegal so nothing can happen then. And seven years went by and we did our own separate lives. He went to the military, I did the other schoolwork, you know, all this stuff. And seven years later we met, meet back up again on Facebook and it just clicked. I have never clicked with somebody the way I've clicked with my husband. And then he drops the bomb on me that he only grew two inches in the last seven years, so he went from being 5'6 to 5'8. And I cringed. And I was like, oh God, why? <laughs> because everything else worked with him. Like everything else clicked. Like we got each other. We were on the same page. We understood each other. And then I was like, <laughs> So we decided to meet back up again on our old stomping grounds and we ran to each other and where we were at nobody was there. I don't have any pictures of it. It was uh, on a dirt road and we ran to each other and when we hugged, because we hadn't seen each other in seven years, when we hugged, I felt like I was hugging my soulmate. I felt like I was hugging my long lost best friend I, I, that I had known my whole life. And that is when I knew that it, it maybe took like another month or so after that to adjust to the height thing, but I was like, I don't really see a height difference anymore. On top of that, he's really buff. So his muscles make up for the shortness. Like he's, he has a body, okay? When my husband looks at me, like the, uh, his eyes are nothing but unconditional love. When his, when he sees me, he sees me. He hears me, he understands me. The greatest aphrodisiac is being understood. And when you're understood by a man, you forget the height difference. You really don't see it anymore. You found that person that you can be emotionally safe with and you know they're not gonna trample on you. Yes, obviously you want somebody that's, you know, you feel safe with physically, obviously. That's a given, you don't want a, a jerk. I get that. But there are a lot of women that date men that physically they feel safe, sure, the guy's not a jerk. But emotionally, they're opening themselves up to a whole bunch of pain just because they're not on the same page, they don't have the same values, uh, they don't trust each other, they, the list goes on and on. When you find that person that you are emotionally safe with, and they don't judge you for anything you've been through or anything you've done or anything anything you stand for, any of your beliefs, any of your core values, and they're basically on the same page that you're at, the height thing is not an issue. The height thing just, it, it, it adjusts. And yes, am I attracted to my husband? Yes, I'm attracted to my husband. Is he attracted to me? Yes, of course there's gotta be a physical attraction. I understand that. I'm not saying, oh, it doesn't matter. Yes, there's a physical attraction. But the more he won me over with listening to me and hearing me and complimenting my soul. No joke, he did not compliment anything physical on me for about 
I'd say one or two months until we finally expressed feelings for each other and then he said it was beautiful but he did not that was not the first thing out of his mouth when we talked when we talked together on the phone for about two months before we met up all of the compliments from him and there were a lot oh gosh there were a lot were about my soul they were about my heart they were about my bravery they were about my tenacity they were about he saw my soul And when a man sees your soul, like, everything else kind of clicks. Everything else falls into place. Because for the first time in my life, I finally felt understood. This is Destiny with the Baby Giraffe. Please, if you like my content, like, share, and subscribe. Let's get a conversation going about tall females and that you being tall is not a mistake. So I'll see you in another video. Thank you.